from Chaka Khan to Jennifer Hudson, Mandy Patinkin to Mark Rucker, gospel legend Lena McLean is the teacher behind some of the world's favorite singers. My grandma embodies everything relevant to my understanding of music and everything that's important to my understanding of life. Lena McLean, a lifelong Chicagoan, left an indelible impact on the history of gospel through her compositions and arrangements. Free at Last, which was written for Martin Luther King, she wrote that basically in one sitting. Today, McLean is no longer able to perform, but her legacy lives on through her grandson, William Kirk. I'm gonna use Amazing Grace and play it straight the way that it was originally performed before gospel took over and made the music more personal. So that's the straight way. The gospel style is very colorful. So there might be some expressionary things that happen to decorate the melody. The issue with trying to institutionalize something like gospel or gospel, it is purely based on how you feel it. Kirk's royal gospel lineage reaches back even further than his grandmother. McLean's uncle, or Kirk's great-great-uncle, was Thomas A. Dorsey, the father of gospel himself. The history of gospel in Chicago really starts with Dr. Thomas A. Dorsey. Dorsey spent his life in West Chesterfield, down the street from where Mahalia Jackson would also live. Go there today and you'll find even more living legends of Chicago gospel. Two remaining members of the renowned Barrett sisters. Lois was the leader. Rodessa was a, a soprano singer and I was an alto singer. I could harmonize with them, even when they were off too. <laughs> no matter where you are in the music industry, if you work with siblings, there's a blend that happens that, that just you cannot achieve when you're dealing with singers from different families. As a cousin of the Barrett sisters, music executive Skip Barrett also comes from a royal gospel lineage. It guided me. I knew which way to go. You see, if you don't if you don't have the Lord in your life, you don't know which way to go. But I was guided through music. And we felt these songs. I mean, it just wasn't singing. We believed in them. We felt them. Can you say yes, Jesus, love me because my body Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.